Hey, welcome back. So this is going to be a quick video demonstrating um, the effects of dry circuits on the evaporator coil. So what this is, is um, you're seeing that just the water droplets falling um, before they actually reach, before they fall down the pan. And that's just due to drier circuits on the coil. Um, you've got some circuits that are below dew point, which is causing the water to condense out of the air but as it falls down off the coil uh, the water will start to the water will drop off once it hits the dry spot so um and as you can see i've located the leak here on the coil and uh it's a newer train system it's probably only well, less than a year old maybe 10 months old and um it's already got a leak here on the u-bend so yeah this uh dry circuit situation is usually caused by a really low charge but it's just mostly vapor in the uh, evaporator coil, starved evaporator coil essentially. And um, yeah, so this unit really had a, a pretty bad leak, so it was running low. But yeah, once I got the charge back up and had it up and running, it no longer, um, the, the water was actually properly running all the way down the coil, so. So the water droplets have to trace the, the wet coil all the way down. Essentially, if it, um, if the, if the complete coil is not wet, the, the water drop is not going to go all the way down uh, until it drops into the pan. It's going to fall off once it reaches a dry spot. So that's what you're seeing here. Yeah, just a quick video and uh, just demonstrating, you know, interesting concept like uh, dry circuits. So yeah, let me know what you think. Like always, thanks for watching. All right, we'll see you on the next one.